Right, I'm here at Catsill and we're actually looking um, in this. We're looking at converting a tattoo into meat. How do we do it? The hunter actually cut some water and take the tattoo and place it in the pot and take the water and throw it on top of him, on top of the tattoo. And then he's scraping gently to take off the blackness, the blackness on the um, skin. So he's in the process of um, taking off the blackness. Is a, the, what the blackness really is a combination of um, moss and all these type of weather, the, the impact on the weather on the tattoo back. And the tattoo really lives in a in holes. They feed on um, worms, insects, and they, in Trinidad we have what we call the um, the nine band tattoo or the armadillo, as they they known they are known. And here he is scraping out the moss from the back, as we say. Um, from the shell. Rello, Rello, Rello. Right. This tattoo normally would feed the tattoo or the armadillo. It's a night feeder. And um, normally it will be in the night, it will be out. The dogs have a tendency to find them. But night hunting in Trinidad is illegal. But there are dogs that will actually find them in holes. And they are trained to find them in the holes during the day, during the daylight. They can either be um, holes in the dirt or in tree trunks. As we see in tree trunks. So the dogs will find them in the daylight and they will bark and the hunter will go in and dig the tattoo out and actually lance it more or less because in the in the holes we don't use too much of a fire power or fire arms as we say. As you look at the tattoo, before you are seeing that it was in a sort of a blackish color. All in the back you will notice that the tattoo was black. But um, the tattoo has is becoming actually clear white from cleaning. Tattoo in Trinidad and Tobago is very plentiful, as it is that we did the question of the, um, the dogs. You have to have the right dogs, and if you can, if you have the right dogs, your chances of catching a tattoo is very great. If, on the other hand, you don't have the dogs that are capable of finding or scenting out these animals, you you would not um, find them. So are we having people saying um, tattoo is scarce or is getting scarce and so on? It is possible because we use a lot of the forests, we use them for agriculture and for um, we do it, destroying the habitat for building the roads and so on. But the, the tattoo population, they multiply very rapidly. They will make about three to four young. Three to four young, you will, you will get your uh, uh, latter would have, and normally the survival rate in the hatchlings uh, or the young tattoo is great. So we find people, as we say again, people will be talking about the tattoo is very scarce, so it's it, it, it is difficult to find. The tattoo is not difficult to find. It's a question of your the capabilities in the dogs, and the um, you don't have the dogs, then you don't have the beast.
Now tattoo is a or the armadillo. It's one of the mammals that we have in our wildlife farm. Um, our wildlife in Trinidad and Tobago. They have suckling the young and they will have about four young. They make four young at a time. Twice per year. Right? So the question of one tattoo generating eight tattoo for a year is very valuable. Right? Yes. All right, after the, um, the scraping of this animal, the tattoo or the armadillo, the hunter will actually move in to, to roasting it. Now roasting the tattoo is not really, it's granting texture to the meat. It actually gives it a smoke kind of taste. But the major thing in roasting is the um, small fine hairs on the chest. And when we actually, when you roast it over the fire, the open fire, the hair is burnt out. So it's part of the process that you will find that after he has finished cleaning the animal as well as cleaning off the, the rust on his skin and the um, body, he will take it to the roast. Now the tattoo is actually placed on fire. As you say that we are using the tattoo as part of the process and we are actually burning out the hair, the fine hair, so that we wouldn't have any problems with the hair and the meat. If you see that there is a fan on that he's fanning the fire with. That's a makeshift fanner that we actually make out of carrot. And the, uh, yeah, it's always made, it's made out of carrot. And it made just a temporary thing. We cut a leaf and just cut, the, cut it around, cut off the head and actually use it as a, a fanner, actually sending breeze to the tattoo. I don't know who is a male. Where are you going? Where are you going here? Oh, Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. As we see, the tattoo is a male. It's a male um, tattoo. We have a lot of females out there and a lot of males. But this one is a male. The tattoo is roasted. As roasted, the fire, the spongy hair has been burnt out. And we see a sort of a grayish black, smoky type look. Well, that goes with the tattoo after the hour is processing. And we already changed the bench. Now we're using balisier. We use a lot of balisier actually on the table. And um, just scraping it out. The small little things that we need after burning. One noted thing in the tattoo cleaning. The tattoo do not have any miss, as Maniku and all the other animals. It has the veil, of course, where we have um, the guts to separating the separating the guts from the meat itself. That has to be removed. Big man, 
Well, one of the other things that you have to note is that the, the Levine de Tattoo is not eaten either. Right? That is also discarded because it um, is very bitter that it is. So people don't usually eat that. But it wouldn't be surprising that to know that some fellas have some idea on how to eat the liver. Right? But as it is, we don't eat the liver. And it is um, it is discarded with the rest of the entrails. So the entrails have been removed and the animal is now clean. Um, I have just faced the animal to me. Right. All all has happened now is that this animal has to cut up in small pieces, right, for cooking size, and the animal, then you're going to be cooking the animal and enjoying a tattoo meal, right? So it's, um, this is all this is about. This is about just catching the tattoo and cleaning it and making it ready for those people who don't come into the forest, as they say. Right? It contributes to the meat of Trinidad and Tobago. Right. As the saying goes, it goes as one of the sweetest meat in Trinidad and Tobago. And it is recognized. Um, it is also, when we talk about um, slaughtering animals, yes, right, the animals, any animal in Trinidad and Tobago, the taking of any animal life is a violent act, right? Tattoo, just taking the tattoo life is just one of the other things as keeping a, taking a chicken or killing some other animal. Now the other thing is that most of the time, most of the time, what we have is um, people, we hunt in groups and the group really make cook and so on and actually enjoy the camp life by cooking the, the, the animal. But sometimes, as we say, we actually do our division and everybody get a piece to carry home to the family, so the family itself. The family itself will um, have a part of the enjoy. Yeah. As we say that here, that you could see that this is the last hunt, uh, the the last, the ending of the hunt. 
and everybody's about to go home. Yeah. We already Come cooked that boat yesterday, mm. and today we have a tattoo that is actually shared mm. among the friends. Mm.